So we made it through the Great Lakes. We are actually in the Illinois River right now. Uh, made it past Chicago yesterday. So we're working our way, way down the inland rivers. Um, but this video will be from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, down to Chicago. The next one will be through Chicago rivers. So what uh, what we're able to do in the last couple days, even with how you doing? How you doing? Good. Nice day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, even with uh, some wind delays, made it down from uh, Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, ran down, back down the St. Mary's River. Uh, in the St. Mary's River, it was windy. I was trying to get some video, and I lost my hat. Those of you that have been following, you see I'm in a different hat now. Uh, so lost my hat. Had turned back around, did some search patterns. No luck. I can tell you, I absolutely understand what uh, Tom Hanks's character was going through when uh, Wilson floated away. Uh, did four passes, but when the, the hat hit that cold, fresh water, it must have just sunk right down. So had to go a couple days without a hat, but uh, made it down down to Mackinac under the Mackinac Bridge, um, and then to Bay Harbor was our destination for that day. Laid up in Bay Harbor, um, real nice spot near my dad's house between Petoskey and Charlevoix on Lake Michigan. Uh, my dad's wife Barb works at a boat shop there and actually got a, I got a hat from her. Uh, not this one, another nice dry fit. Um, Nike athletic kind of hat. Uh, but then when I got to Leland, I saw this one, I couldn't pass it up. But, uh, but yeah, stayed over a couple days there because of weather out on the lake uh, was building. So laid up there, had a great time, beautiful marina. Um, got to see some friends um, that are in Charlotte I haven't seen since high school. Uh, you know, you see each other on Facebook and things like that, but it was nice to actually see each other in person. Went and saw the new Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick. Go see it if you haven't. It, it was incredible. Um, everything I could have asked for. But, so after our, our layover there, decided we'd make our way down even though it's still going to be a little bumpy. Uh, tried to get to Frankfurt, didn't happen. Uh, got down past Leland, start hitting some bigger seas once we got out of the lake. And when that happened, decided to turn around. It was a little bit of a decision to make because I'm not much one to turn around. But turned around, laid up, uh, which was the right choice. They were going for five footers off of Frankfurt when we, uh, when we were supposed to be getting in there. So went back into Leland, uh, great little fishing community there. Uh, they call themselves Fish Town. That's where I got this hat. Um, see the logo in fish town right there. Um, it's actually like their like their waterfront and the fish there. Um, but this hat is a Richardson 112 just like the one I lost. So anyone who knows me knows I can't pass up a fresh ass Richardson. So this is my my new hat for the rest of the trip. It's fitting well. Um, I did get a hat keeper lanyard thing um, from Lake Michigan Yacht Sales while I was there and uh, so hopefully this one, will, this one will stay on. Um, it was a bummer losing that last hat because it was a fresh hat when I uh, started doing projects on Tortuga for this trip. So I was like, oh, this is going to be my hat through it. It was getting really good patina to it, fading. Um, yeah, it was kind of changing. It's, I have been changing for the period. So that'll probably be the next hard thing to lose. So I have to go back to work and to shave all this scruff off. Um, but so after Laying up there for a day, um, had some amazing seafood. I uh, like that fish right out of there. Um, so you know, we were getting some smoked whitefish, some uh, whitefish pate, salmon, uh, grilled on the boat here, some fresh asparagus. Uh, this asparagus was absolutely incredible. I haven't had like fresh Michigan asparagus in who knows how long, but it's almost sweet. I mean, you just you eat it raw. It was delicious. It's absolutely incredible. Um, no like real hard ends to it. Yeah, like you get at the grocery store and it's just incredible. So if you're ever in Michigan and you see a fresh asparagus in one of the markets or something or a farmer's market, buy it. You will not be disappointed. But so late over, next morning, um, almost smooth. We had a great day yesterday. Uh, ran our longest day and farthest distance, about 340 miles. Made it past Chicago. Uh, again, this day we're just going up to Chicago in it. But we're running south, ran down along the, uh, the Michigan coast past Ludington. My dad and I were talking, and he brought us like, I wonder what it, the Wisconsin co coast looks like over there, if it's sandy and goony like it is here or what. So I'm like, well, it's only 60 miles across right here. So we made a right turn and ran over to Sheboygan uh, 
It's your boy in Wisconsin. Um, they spell a little differently than we do in Michigan, but we won't hold it against them. Nice marina there also. Uh, got fuel, then made our way down to Chicago. Had a, there were times Lake Michigan was smooth, um, just like we had in Huron. Uh, got a little bumpy by the time we got to Chicago, but had a had a great run. Dad drove all the way across Lake Michigan. I uh, I got a chance to nap, which was nice. And then uh, made it to Chicago last night, and now we're here today. So this video, I hope you guys enjoy it. This will be, again, from Sault Ste. Marie down to Chicago from our trip so far. Some layover days, some boating days, there's some videos of the, the rougher weather or rougher water we saw. The weather's actually been terrific. We did get a little rain, but just a quick, quick moving storm. So again, I hope you guys are liking it. Keep subscribing. We get, we're getting more and more people. Um, hit those like buttons. And I'll see you guys on the next one.